everyone. Welcome back. Hit the bell icon, comment, and also visit us on RJK English as well so that we can have further conversation and I can help you with what you're working on. So today I want to talk about how to have better conversation regarding what's going on in your life. In learning Hindi or learning any language, you learn basics, right? So in Hindi, aap kaise hain? Mai So how are you? Oh, I'm good. Everything's good. You know, oh, genki desu ka? Oh, Genki. But these are very basic. So I was talking to one of my students. One of their family members is having a health problem, but they were also talking about their own situation. So I want to talk about how do we talk about these types of things? So the first thing is, let's say someone is talk, uh, asks you how you're doing and they know something about how things have been going on in your life. Okay. This is not just a new person. You can say something like, Everything's the same as usual. This means in general, nothing has changed. You know what goes on in my life. I get up, I go to work. On the weekends, I'm with my wife, or if you're not married, I'm with my girlfriend. They know what happens in your life. So you can just say, everything's the same as usual, the usual, or nothing's changed. But let's say you're talking about something more specific. Let's say that one of your family members is having a health problem. So. Here, you can talk in two ways. You can talk about the situation or you can talk about results. If you say, if I ask you, oh, how's your grandmother? I heard you were saying that she was having some health problems and you say, oh, the results are the same. This can only be used in one way. So results are effects of uh, a specific test. So for instance, if I said, oh, how did you do on the test? You would say, oh, I just got the results and the results are good. Or let's say you took a test multiple times. You were studying IELTS or you were studying for the bar exam for law and you keep getting the same grade and it's not what you want. You would say, oh, the results are the same. Same results. This means the test came out the same. Or for health, it can mean maybe your family member was going for tests. They're doing okay. Not a big deal. The results are the same. But if you want to say the situation is the same, that's different. So let's say the, your, your grandmother has health problems and your friend is asking, how's your grandmother? You can say the situation is the same. The situation hasn't changed. You can also talk about this in your own life. Let's say you're having trouble at work and your friend knows this and they ask, oh, how's work? You can say the situation's the same. It means that situation where I'm having trouble at work, this general situation, this is the same. This is different from me saying everything's the same as usual. That means everything in your life in general, your habits, the way you do things, that's in general the same. The situation is the same is pointing to a particular situation at work or, or whatever, or maybe your grandmother's health that situation is the same. You can also, when you're talking to someone else, you can say, someone says their family member isn't feeling well. You can say, what's bothering her? What's bothering him? Or what's bothering them? Or what illness do they have? You know, if you feel comfortable asking, what illness do they have? What you don't want to say is, what's their problem? <laughs> so in English, when we say, what's their problem? This has a specific meaning. When I say, uh, when you're talking about a girl at school and I say, what's their, what's her problem? This means she is a difficult person. And you're wondering, why is she so difficult? You say, what's her problem? Or let's say you're driving in traffic and someone cuts you off in traffic or honks at you. You say, what's their problem? Or you probably use a curse word. What's that? What's their problem? You want to say, what's the problem they're experiencing? What's the problem they're having? And if you're talking about this person is having health problems, you can say things like, oh, there's various reasons they're having health problems. There's various causes of this. You know, they have jaundice. Uh, someone has jaundice. Uh, there's various reasons for this. Um, or they're having a cough. You can say, we need to monitor their symptoms. You know, they're having repeated symptoms. We need to monitor them, meaning we need to keep checking on them regularly over time. The last is, let's say something just needs time to improve. You can say, it will get better with time, or it will just take time. A lot of times when you experience heartbreak, nothing can change your heartbreak. The girl broke up with you or the guy broke up with you. You just say, it will get better with time. 
Time will pass and it will improve naturally. It will just take time. So this is kind of a long one. All right, talk to you later. Hi everyone, welcome to RJK English. Make sure to like and subscribe and that will help me make more of these videos. I'm on YouTube and on Instagram and see us on Facebook and we can talk further.